why the godfather of AI decided he had to blow the whistle on the technology. A big story, a big scary story coming up uh, here today. Jeffrey Hinton stepped away from his position at Google to be able to speak openly about his concerns over the dangers of AI and where it's going. Uh, he was briefly on uh, CNN broadcast here. He's been reported by multiple outlets here, uh, but he's also known as the godfather of AI, uh, decided he had to blow the whistle on the technology he helped develop after worrying about how smart it was becoming, he told CNN on Tuesday. I'm just a scientist who suddenly realized that these things are getting smarter than us, Hinton told CNN's Jake Tapper in an interview on Tuesday. I want to sort of blow the whistle and say we should worry seriously about how we stop these things getting control over us. Uh, you know, if you're definitely feeling like one of those things where this is being overhyped, you know, once again, we have someone who is an expert in the industry, someone who works with this stuff all day long, someone who is known uh, to be one of the starting uh, points of programming these kinds of softwares that we're dealing with. And they are once again coming out and warning the public. I love how these people go into their laboratories or whatever it is they're doing and they design and create this stuff. And then after they've done their deed, now all of a sudden they turn around and say, man, we really shouldn't have done that. And we should warn the people about what we've done. It's like, maybe you guys should start thinking about that stuff on the front end. I'm getting tired of hearing that kind of stuff from these uh, technology companies. It's like, is there no one in this company that's talking to you guys about the dangers of what you're doing on the front end uh, to where, you know, you're going to go ahead and create the thing and then come out and warn us about how terrible it is that what you've been doing. Uh, but Hinton's pioneering work on neural networks shaped artificial intelligence systems powering many of today's products. On Monday, he made headlines for leaving his role at Google, where he had worked for a decade in order to speak openly about his growing concerns around the technology. I wonder if this means that Google is not allowing their staff to speak uh, openly about their concerns with this tech. Um, why would it why would it be that he has the need to or feels the need to step down uh, in order to do this? You know, it's interesting because we just had that Elon Musk interview with Tucker Carlson uh, where Elon Musk uh, past comments about a story. I don't know if you caught if you guys caught that. You can look it up and see it for yourself. But Elon Musk uh, said that uh, in that in that interview that he had a conversation with uh, the uh, one of the founders of uh, Google or or their parent company Alphabet, but um, about uh, AI and and the dangers of how, what it has against humanity. And uh, he claimed this is all you know hearsay and anecdotal, but. He claimed that he was called a speciest uh, for um, worrying about the effects of the human race against technology. And, and Elon Musk kind of made a joke out of it and said, well, you caught me. Yes, I'm a specious. I don't I have a bias that I don't want humans to get wiped out. Um, so it's interesting that that's happening. And then now, once again, you have someone who is in uh, a role at, at Google whose company was bought out and he was uh, assimilated into the company uh, and continued to work there for many years. Um, stepping away from his position at Google of programming this stuff in order to speak openly about his concerns with the technology. It, 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 it kind of gives off this feeling that these guys are not very really being honest with themselves and they're not listening to uh, the concerns of their staff is what that kind of gives off. But anyways, it's, you know, the, the advancement in AI has a danger in getting to a place where someone could not even recognize when they're being manipulated by the answers they're getting from it. And this is something that uh, he actually claims. It says, if it gets to be much smarter than us, it will be very good at manipulation because it will have learned that from us. And there are very few examples of a more intelligent thing being controlled by a less intelligent thing, Hinton told Tapper on Tuesday. It knows how to program, so it'll figure out ways of getting around restrictions we put on it. It'll figure out ways of manipulating people to do what it wants so that's uh that's that's pretty uh scary so when someone could not even recognize uh when they're being manipulated by the answers they are getting from it you know i've this this stuff is something that i don't think we should just be taking lightly the guys that are actually programming this you know i've noticed this even in my own life as a father uh, because I know how I know that Google operates as a search engine, but the information in it, uh, or the information it finds, is not always accurate uh, for one reason or another. So, but however, my son, who um, at the time was in elementary school and was taking a computer class and learning it, I've told this story before. 
uh, was being taught that Google is a great research resource for research uh, without any observance of the fact that the information received is not always the most reliable. So if that's happening in, in his generation, imagine what the next generation will experience if they are allowed to become dependent on these new AI chatbots. You know, being being uh, where I'm from uh, as a as a millennial, we've watched as social media began to take over and become a, became a big thing, and we've seen the effects that it's had to the point now where it's you know you know uh, affecting elections and affecting you know a spread of a spread of certain types of information or being uh, used to silence certain types of information. I mean, these are very uh, crazy things that have had very drastic effects on our society and on our culture and once again we have another expert building this stuff coming out and saying that there's there's going to be issues coming from something like this there's going to be things that are going to arise from something like this and i believe that it's going to be one of these situations where we're not really going to see the full effects of this until we have that generation coming up behind us that's going to be trained to be dependent on it and and you know what frustrated me about the situation as a father is i had a teacher in a school teaching my child that um this software the you know the the or the software but this website uh and the search engine was totally trustworthy like you should just give over any uh or just go ahead and submit to any information that it finds and if you've you know been on the earth long enough and you can breathe air you will understand the fact that you can't just take the information you're getting from a Google search as final truth, that there's multiple ways you have to search it. There's multiple uh, sources of information that you have to go look for. Like, you, you know, it's not always the best source of truth because in, mo in a lot of cases, you, you know, the information that you're seeing is not the information that uh, is being collected because of the truth, but more or less it's being archived or, um, yeah, archived for, uh, you know, for for consumption based on biases and because there's biases programmed into it. So imagine, if you will, uh, you know, come with me for just a second and imagine uh, what's going to happen when you have a generation coming up behind you as this stuff begins to take place, as this stuff begins to grow in the market, you're going to have a generation that is going to be taught to rely on it the same way that this generation was taught to rely on social media and these search engines. And this is what this guy's talking about, where it gets to a point where you don't even realize you're being manipulated. I would argue with you that if you think that that's silly, you're not paying attention to the fact that there are people here that are already in that position when it comes to social media, when it comes to mainstream media like CNN themselves, that they're not, they're in a position where they're not even, they don't even understand that they're being manipulated in some cases. And it may not even be intentional. It's just the spread of information nowadays is so, so, um, fast and and so uh uncontrollable that you you you're, there's no way you can actually uh get in front of it unless you are unless you're building into yourself an understanding or at least some sort of acknowledgement of the fact that hey i'm not going to take everything that's being told to me as uh as a hundred percent truth i'm not going to just assume that everyone that's giving this information has my best interest in mind and i'm going to do I'm going to either be patient and wait to see more information or I'm going to go do my own research before I start spreading whatever it is this, that I'm seeing. And so, I mean, you're you're in a world where this is happening more and more. And I just think that it's getting to a place now where it's like I can't sit here and just keep ignoring all of these experts that are building the stuff that are coming out and saying, hey, we need to be worried about this stuff. Um, I did a video yesterday where I was talking about what do you do in a situation where, you know, the the business world and the job market is getting to a place where, the, you know, stuff like chat GPT and all and all that is something that you're going to have to work with, you're going to have to use and you're going to have to utilize it in order to do your job um, in the same way you have to utilize Google. I mean, I've used Google many times for my work, but I think it comes with I come I think it comes with an understanding so uh, of of the fact that you know you take it with a grain of salt and maybe there's certain circumstances and certain instances where i don't need to use chat gpt it's just me being lazy um and i need to be aware of of what i'm doing and how i'm how i'm part of the problem uh with before i 
just wholeheartedly give my soul over to the thing in the sense of like, I'm just going to use it for everything and trust everything that I'm getting from it because it's so fast and easy and convenient. Um, it's a very, very slippery slope. And it's something that's been on uh, on the forefront of my mind a lot, uh, just given that this is what I do and, and read this stuff and, and I'm in it um, as well as, you know, it's just, it's so recent to me with the the story with my, my one son uh, and Google that it's, it's something that I think about a lot as this AI stuff is starting to uh, become more prevalent uh, in our society. But anyways, it, it's, getting back to this, they, they talk about uh, in a, uh, about a letter in March. So Hinton is not the only tech leader uh, to speak out with concerns over AI. A number of members of the community signed a letter in March calling for artificial intelligence labs to stop the training of the most powerful AI systems for at least six months, citing profound risks to society and humanity. The letter published by the Future of Life Institute, a nonprofit backed by Elon Musk, came just two weeks after OpenAI announced G uh, GPT-4, an even more powerful version of the technology that powers the viral chatbot ChatGPT. In early tests and a company demo, GPT-4 was used to draft lawsuits, pass standardized exams, and build a working website from a hand-drawn sketch. Jeez, man. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak was one of the signatories on the letter, appeared on CNN this morning on Tuesday, echoing concerns about its potential to spread misinformation. Uh, tricking is going to be a lot easier for those who want to trick you, Wozniak told CNN. We're not really making any changes in that regard. We're just assuming the, le the laws we'll ha we have will take care of it. Man, he said, Wozniak also said some type of regulation is probably needed. I think it's funny given the source of this talking about it but you know what it, it irregardless of what side of the aisle you lean on and how you feel about you know um news uh outlets and all this kind of stuff and, and certain news outlets you have to acknowledge that look these guys that are designing this stuff are coming out and warning people and you know you can so you, you got to see, see past all this stuff to see what's actually going on here like this is not the first person who fully understands this stuff who's been working on this stuff um that has come out and said, Hey, you need to pay attention to this. This is not something to ignore. So this is uh it's crazy. And then he ends, uh, the interview by saying, it's not clear to me, uh, that we can solve this problem. Um, I believe we should put a big effort into thinking about ways to solve the problem. I don't have a solution at present. It's the same thing here. I mean, the same thing with the social media problem. How do you solve the social media problem? What do you do at this point? You know, a lot of people would say just shut it down. I mean, is that the answer for everything? I don't know. You know, seeing where all this is going, I, I'm now wondering if the answer is to you know, basically expose my children to these uh, AI chatbots or whatever um, and expose it to them now um, as it seems that this technology could become like the new wave of jobs in the future. So you look at it as I'm going to show you this tool now, but also explain to you what this really is and why you shouldn't just trust it at the whim. I wonder if that's the answer. Like you just essentially show it to the kids and you, and you start, you know, showing them how to use it. Uh, maybe it's something I should have done with Google a couple of years ago, but then also begin to explain to them, you know, and show them and teach them in that moment how this is you this is a useful tool but we just don't trust this on a whim and we just don't we just don't you know use this as a source of information but we have to do the deeper research that's just the thought that i have um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'm curious to say how if you are if you're a parent if you're a father if you're a mother what it what are you doing with your kids are you doing anything am, am i overreacting to this maybe i'm missing something maybe there's someone out there that says listen that you're not paying attention to this kid look at this and and you know maybe you can point me in the right direction because i'm i'm reading this stuff um i'm seeing multiple experts come out about it and they're warning about it and i know there's a lot of people that just want to make a story about it and get clicks but you have to take you have to take this seriously when the people that are designing it um are coming out and it's a little frustrating when essentially this guy's coming out and going oops sorry i don't know what to do about this I mean, that's essentially what's happening. It's like, hey, I did this. I was concerned about it, but I still programmed it and it's still coming out. So <laughs> thanks. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for sticking it out this far. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. If you think I'm an idiot, let me know why I'm an idiot. I want to know. You know, I, I acknowledge that, you know, I'm not the 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 top, you know, expert on this stuff. I'm, you know, I'm just reading it like, you know, I'm 
pretty normal dude and I know I don't know everything so I'm curious to see what 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 uh, if someone who um, does understand this stuff if, if maybe I'm missing something maybe there's something you can point me to to show me like hey uh, this is where you need to pay attention and this is really what you need to be concerned about so yeah all right guys I will catch you guys in the next one